everyone, I'm Veronica and in today's video I'll show you how to create an aesthetic Polaroid intro just like this one. For the Polaroid intro you will need to download the Polaroid overlays pack which you can get from the Filmstock website. You will also find the link for this pack in the description below. The pack comes with 15 different overlays. So now let's jump into the Wondershare Filmora video editor and I'll show you how you can use the overlay pack. So first of all I'm going to mute the music so that it doesn't get in the way of me talking. In this video I'm using three different overlays from the pack two as frames for my pictures and video and one as a frame for some titles. So let's try and recreate this one in the middle. You will find the overlays in the effects tab and you can preview the animation of each overlay by double clicking on the thumbnails and you'll get the preview on the right. Once you're happy with your choice all you have to do is click back on the timeline and it will go back to your project preview. Once you're happy with your choice, you simply click and drag the chosen overlay onto the timeline and you can drag the sides in and out to adjust the length of it. I placed the overlay on track 3 because I'm going to add a split screen at the bottom of it and also this white screen so that instead of black boxes, we'll get these white ones instead when the video plays back. Now go into the split screen tab at the top of the screen and choose a split screen that corresponds to the overlay. So for this one, I will choose this one right here. So I'm going to click and drag it onto the timeline and again, you can use the sides to adjust the length of it. Now to add your photos and video to the split screen, you simply have to double click on it and you'll notice that your media tab has opened. From here, you can simply click and drag the photos or video into the boxes and double click on them to get a little control panel like this which you can use to scale the image down and you can also drag the image to position it in the frame. When you have a video clip, so for example let's use this one right here, again we click and drag it onto the box, double click to get the control panel, we can then scale it down and move it around. And you can also click on these three sliders right here, which will open the advanced split screen edit and you can actually choose which section of the video you want to show on the split screen. So for example, if I want to start here, I just have to drag the side in to reduce the length and move it along. As I mentioned before, the split screen usually has animations like this at the beginning. So what I like to do is actually add a white screen underneath, which you can create in paint or any like basic editing software, or you can simply download from Google images. So now you get these white backgrounds instead of black ones. And finally, what you can also do is add titles to the overlays and use them as frames. So for example here, I'm using the titles from the Travel Chic title pack and I've just simply stacked them on top of the overlay. So as an example, to show you how you can create them and place them in the overlay, I'll delete this top one. So now let's head over into the titles tab, search for the travel title and let's use title number two this time. So again, click and drag it onto the timeline and then to adjust the length, you simply drag the side in or out depending on what you want and then to customize the title you double click on it in the timeline and first of all let's change the text color so we can see it let's make it pink and then you can also customize the graphic underneath it double clicking on it and going into the color tab going to white balance and then playing around with the temperature and tint to slightly adjust the hue of it so now you can change the title right here in this text box on the left. Let's change it to vlog. And now using the title group controller, you can have to make it smaller and position it into the frame of your overlay, just like this. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found it useful and that it gave you some ideas to create your own aesthetic Polaroid intro. If you are interested in any of the packs used in this video, there will be links to them in the description below, so go ahead and check them out. And also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any of our future videos. And I'll see you guys on the next one.